I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. So I guess now it turns out Fresh has inevitably gotten fit pregnant. We're talking about Daisy Fit Chin. Now it's been blasted. It's kind of gone a little viral. If you've been in the alpha male space, red pill space um, for a little while, you've seen this happen with Myron. Uh, where they had receipts though where the girl said that she had gotten pregnant and then that whole situation kind of dissipated uh, Once they brought receipts and brought everything out into light on the show I'm assuming something like that's gonna happen here, but the turn of events right now is changing because Daisy fit chin not only has she gone blank on social media it's like well This is like a side Daisy fit channel right here um, but her TikTok and her Instagram are both down. And but she has also posted all these receipts that have come from the Destiny and Abba and uh, Preach page. So we're gonna go through these as well. I haven't seen them. I saw the little little thumbnail and clips and everything, but we're just gonna go straight through it. So she obviously she came out with the receipts, got two pregnancy tests just to make sure. And she's like, "You always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother." Uh, oh, I think. English might be her second language. As you see here, like some of this stuff is in an Asian language. I don't know the characters very well, but I'm assuming that may be Korean or Chinese. P correct me in the comments, cause I know I'm wrong. I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. Dang, you walked away, bro. <laughs> After all the teachings, man. You don't walk away. You handle responsibility cause Fresh was married before too. So why is he walking away, man? She said she was being good. Now, I think I want, she wants to keep the baby. She doesn't want to get rid of the baby. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. And they're always talking about handling responsibility. They go as hard on dudes as they do on girls. And they I, and now what goes viral is them going extremely hard on girls, but they go hard on dudes too. Uh, tell them to be responsible. So we'll see if he walks in his own footsteps, takes his own advice, you know? He's like, I'll call you shortly. And she's like, Dad, take your time. And then they did the call. <laughs> it was a minute long call. And he was like, I can't have kids. What was the point then, man? Take responsibility. Uh, once again, responsibility. Take responsibility for your actions. And then what's this? Read it. Blood test. She went. So she, not only should she do two of the stick, the pee test. She went and got an actual, went to the doctor's office and got a freaking blood test. <laughs> he's like, I know, but what does it mean? I don't understand the numbers. Oh, uh, I'm assuming he's talking about this. Just the weeks of gestation. I'm assuming he didn't like read it at all. It literally just says pregnant. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, but what does it mean? Dude, just say it just says pregnant, bro. <laughs> he doesn't want to know what it. it's between difference between knowing what it like. I don't understand it. And then just not wanting to understand it, I guess. She's, she's been pregnant for three to four weeks. He's, she's all excited. It's our baby. As you want to get rid of our baby, you are not being a good human. Dang, just straight to the facts right here. You're not even being a good human, bro. And then that's weird. It's like, it's not about that right now. It's not good. And a lot is happening, especially in now business may be over. I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. She's like, I never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated if you keep Come inside of me. I will get pregnant. I don't get pregnant without your behavior. So it takes two to tango, right? Words mean nothing. Man up. I'm not saying I want to be with you because I don't. I'm assuming she says I don't because uh, you're nothing. Okay, now they're just, this is like a feelings talk. Like, because you are nothing to me, but the baby is innocent. I mean, yeah, that's not entirely, obviously not entirely true. You're sleeping with a dude. You can't just be nothing. You're really sleeping with nothing, people. Oh, so, yeah. Three to four weeks. But then, like, dude, like, it's just about business now. Like, ah, that's your kid, man. Even Drake's taking care of his kid. You know, Chris Brown's taking care of his kid. Come on. Uh, you know, and you got to set, like, this is the thing. This is the biggest part of your brand, dude. If you, like, want to educate people on how to be good men, this is, like, where this stuff needs to be come to light. And then... Yeah, make sure that you get your paternity test or whatever. But if it's your kid, you definitely need to step up. People are going to see a lot more from your actions than like whatever you're saying. So, I mean, it's, 
but it is kind of funny. Like, but business may be over because what I've been saying to everybody is they got another. They know I'm fake. Oh god. Honestly, it depends on how he takes it. This could like be a. This could make his business blow up, right? You should have a kid with someone you are in love with in the same household. It won't be what you expect. Man up. I'm telling you now so you know. I don't expect anything anymore since we are not together. I got pregnant with you when I was in your house and when I was in love. So she was in love, but, you know, like a message ago, she said there was nothing. He was nothing. <laughs> so, so be careful when you do these type of arguments. If you like seriously, though, like if you're doing these type of arguments, just like take a break and don't get emotional with what you're saying because um, you don't want to be saying the wrong things during these type of this is a very important time you wanted to have the baby if you didn't you came in me you came in me with your own pleasure be logic be a man and don't get pregnant by myself it's not fair for the baby he's like what are you saying we are not together and it won't be why would that be good for a kid why did you come inside me then <laughs> <One day. laughs> Uh, also things happen and yes feelings change but bringing a kid into this world without both parents love is cruel i mean the the mom will obviously love him mama. we both thought you wouldn't get pregnant yeah there was a thing where she was saying that she has been having unprotected sex for like seven years or something and uh that's why she didn't think she could get pregnant it was a joke yeah, you should be, don't joke around, what does it say? We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. It was a joke. All I'm saying is you should take the responsibility for what you did. She's a victim? Oh, wow, don't bring out the victim. She's a victim? I don't understand that one. Put that in the comments. What do you think? She said she's a victim in the relationship. And I'm carrying your baby. Your baby, you act like you don't care and you don't want nothing. Also, now I'm worried I have to test other girls. At least four. What does he mean? I don't understand. What does he mean he has to test other girls? <laughs> like other girls that are pregnant? She's pregnant. It's not like it's an STD, bro. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, what do you mean you have to test other girls? What, what does he mean? That's makes no sense. <laughs> Another girl. Four girls. You're saying you have sex with four girls without protection? I hope you have all the money for your child support. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, now she's getting mad finally admit you're trash effing effing trash he doesn't have money there it is guys he just, fresh fresh doesn't have any money good luck lol you'll see so he's joking around bro these, these are serious conversations that you he definitely shouldn't be joking around like this now this is funny though <laughs> dude you don't have an std she's just pregnant what do you mean you have to test other girls unless you have an std and then now this is where she like goes full on blast though like craziness. My name is Daisy. Look at this long story. This is a story between me and Walter Weeks. Is that his last name? Walter Weeks. The podcaster known as Fresh, IG and YouTube. Damn. She's like, just in case you didn't know his first name, I'm going to list down all the credentials of where you can find this guy. <laughs> Damn, son. I met him on November 21st in Miami. Oh, she fell in love with him. Dang. They spent New Year's together. That's the time when he asked me to be his girl to commit to him. He posted a video of us on social media. He said to me, I love you. I don't want you to be with other men. A few, But then that's what they preach too. they like, the dude can be, if you're a high value guy, you can be with multiple different girls. But the girls should commit to the dude, right? That's the that's what, what they teach, red pill stuff. A few days later, he asked me to meet his mom. Everything went well. I showed him and his mom my respect. He defended me on his podcast from the rumors at the moment. I truly fell in love with him. But this is where the games begin. I'm sorry. Games. I left Miami on January 8th. Oh, she's in China. I left Miami on January 8th, traveled back to China for Chinese New Year. The night before we had a serious conversation, he said he sees me like someone to spend the whole life with. And I told him I was going to move to Miami for him. From then, we started a long distance relationship for two months. Until I traveled to Barbados. Oh dang, she met his whole... So you bring in the girl, man. You brought the girl and then you let her meet your whole family. And then you're saying like you wanted to commit and everything. So I'm assuming you're going to... You're probably not going to commit, obviously. Let's, let's be real. But um, yeah, man. So you let, you're taking her everywhere. Making her, letting her meet your family and stuff. 
that sounds a little that sounds serious to me man i don't know i don't know and uh this is so real that it's serious with me therefore i'm not on birth control and we had sexual behavior without protection so that's why she decided to not be on birth control because she met the family and she thought it was serious right i was ready to have a baby with him so she was already ready to have a baby anyways like so that's why she stopped doing the birth control and build a family and he asked me many times what if you get pregnant my answer toward to him was always yes i want to keep the baby i don't mind having a baby with you and i'm assuming she directly told him and he just blew it off like oh well, she's not pregnant anyways even if she gets pregnant i'll just uh, blow her off whatever and then now but now the situation is actually here she's like i directly told you that i was fine having a baby he's like yeah, okay cool whatever uh, you're not gonna get pregnant uh my pull out game's strong you're not gonna get pregnant over here <laughs> Oh, he's like, oh my God, our kid's gonna look like them. They're so cute. I knew you were typing me this, Blasian. Oh, these are, these are uh, mixed dudes. And then March 12th, we traveled back to Miami together. At first, everything was fine. I stayed in his apartment. So that she's staying there, met his family. Come on, you're dating, she's committed. It's, I don't, I, mean, I don't know, man. We had a mutual understanding. He's not a monogamous person. Okay, so she knows that. She knows that the alpha males or the red pill dudes, if they can take care of multiple women, they're going to take care of multiple women and have multiple girls that are committed to them type of deal. So they had a mutual understanding of that. She's not, he's not monogamous. That me and him both needs our own space. So I suggested him to help me rent an apartment. He said, I want you to have things you want. 10 days later, a morning after we had lunch with his sister, he broke his promises. That's how he told me he loves me. Oh shit. Cool. Back at it again. Two days later, after uh, later a morning after we had lunch with his sister, he broke his promises that uh, how he told me he loves me and wants to see it in the long term. He wants to plan a future with me instead of renting an apartment, better buy a new house, which I think is completely lying and making excuses about. He used me, hurted me. He was a cheater, a huge gamer. I only found out this later and started to take his haters words. When people told me negative things about him in the beginning, I always stood by his side and supported him and believed him. I choose to believe in my partner instead of audience. The truth is he pretended to be a high value man to date girls then ditched him. The reason why I'm exposing this is because as a woman, I want to stand out for other women. I don't want any other girls ending up like me. So she's kind of like in a self sacrifice type of situation. So that's why she's doxing, not, not doxing, but you know, just exposing her situation and how she got through it. In a strange country, all she's in. A, she's I'm in a strange country all alone because she's in Miami, at, in his apartment, waiting to like be put up in a house or something. And if she doesn't expose this, he'll continue doing that to other naive girls. There will be more women who get hurt. After a few days, he asked me to move out. Dang, fresh, you kicking her out, bro? What? You kicking her out? He asked me to move out. He stopped coming home. He disappeared. Oh, so he's like, okay, if you, I'm not going to like physically force you out, but I'm just going to stop coming back to this place, even though it's his own house. He disappeared for three nights without explanation. I called him. He never answered when I did nothing wrong. When I was so genuine, I left my work behind in China to pursue this relationship. So I moved out, booked the first flight to New York City. On March 30th, I had a pregnancy test. It's positive. Here's what happened. And that's the text that we went through before but i'm curious why does she go to new york city because she's in a foreign country i would assume that she would go back to her country that's interesting i don't know he said on the phone there's no reason to meet and discuss further he refused to have an adult conversation in person he asked me to take pills and deal with it alone he doesn't even want to show up and be a real man take responsibility under uh, for his behavior now i'm warning all girls stay away from this man he's dishonest and a liar and i ask you please stand by me and help me to expose him in order to protect more women i've suffered many days before i decided to tell everyone what happened i needed to help other girls to know his true color any ladies prove text yourself yeah and this is where she's like nobody cares about your money it's like i don't have money <laughs> nobody cares about your money <laughs> good also i know you don't want to raise a kid by yourself you need a man that's going to be there with you we aren't even together forget the money part and she's like i want to keep the baby i'll raise it by myself but you'll have to take the responsibility i don't need a man especially i don't need a man like you why you want to kill with someone like me makes no sense but okay dude aren't you the pinnacle of like the manliness that's what you teach 
how can you teach other men to be better men and if you're not setting the example <laughs> and then you say why you want to kill with someone like me like shouldn't everybody want to kill with someone like you that's like the whole point that's what you're teaching the other men because the other men want girls to want them and the only reason the only reason you would be wanted is because you have great qualities as a man so are you just saying that you don't have great qual? That's why the confusing, like being a teacher and teaching somebody that you good qualities, but then not exemplifying those qualities. It's like crazy. And that's why he was saying his business is over. Dude, like do you, this is where the actions you have to step up because I'm not a killer. And when I was with you, I loved you because I only realized now I was with the wrong person. And you lied to me. Does this make sense? I thought you were smart. Say less. I didn't lie to you. It's not about being a killer. It's about doing what's best for us and also a child. It would be very selfish to bring a kid into this world without fully committed parents. Neither of us are ready to deal with something like this. Yeah, it's selfish to make me pregnant and then leave me in a lie. I'm not selfish. You are. You should worry about the other four girls. <laughs> learn from your lesson because I learned from mine. <laughs> from you what about what's with other four girls like he's just messing with other four girls or he, there's other four girls that might be pregnant that's the oh and here's like what is this so in the std test like ah my name is daisy oh another girl is messaging her okay yeah, yeah. like babe i was with him in december and then make an sd std test asap i did it when i was with him he only made it today he have sex with another woman without protection we didn't use protection and he came. Dude, dude, what are you doing? So why are you coming at all the girls, bro? <laughs> you want all these babies, bro? And if you, they know they see you're like a celebrity status to them, of course they're going to, I mean, they're, they're going to be a subset of girls that are going to want to try to trap you anyways. Don't you got to be careful of that either way type of shit? I don't know. Whatever. Man. Put it down in the comments. Let me know. I've been tested and I'm clean. Are you okay, love? I'm sorry he did this to you. I didn't know anything about you. I was staying, oh, like staying with him since mid-December? Interesting. All right, that was it from those texts. And then we're going to go and uh, bounce to the phone call. What? I want the baby because I, I want don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from the doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want the kids. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. What? Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. I mean, because of. To the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Dang, bro. Anyways, guys, that's it for that one. This video is kind of long. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me your thoughts about this and uh, peace.